Hi, my name is Arik from Lauren B. And today we're gonna to be doing our Diamonds 101 segment on the ABCs of diamond color. And here we have a nice lineup of round diamonds. I'm gonna take you over to the GIA chart to start. And the color scale for GIA graded diamonds actually starts at D. There is no ABC, which is kind of ironic. And the reason for that is because GIA came up with their own grading system in the 1950s and they wanna differentiate themselves from the other ones. So they wanted to start at D because other companies were starting at A, B. So they wanted to make their own standardized grading system. So you can see here, this is kind of just the scale about when you start at D, it's completely colorless. And then when you work your way down the chart, you start to see a little bit more U of yellow. And how does that happen? Diamonds are made up of carbon. And when they come from the earth, little traces of nitrogen can get into them and the more nitrogen that gets into the stone the more of color that is present in the diamond as you go down and the more rare it is is up here in d and more valuable people tend to like colorless diamonds and the ones that we're going to focus on today are going to be in this d to j range which is colorless to near colorless so going back over here to the diamonds we have a lineup of round stones ranging in color from d to j now it's a matter of preference you know it can be between this and what you want to spend your money on and some people may actually perform the warmth of a stone. This is a D color. And we're gonna work our way all the way down to J. This is a D. And this is an F. So we're in the colorless range here. And from the face up, you're not gonna be able to see any noticeable difference between these two. Very difficult, they're both pretty colorless. And of course, the pricing will not be that much different between a D and an F color because really you cannot see the difference too much. I'm looking at them face up. Next, we're gonna move on to the near colorless range. This is a little bit trickier because it covers a broader spectrum of color. This one is a G color, and this one is an H. And they're gonna look very similar face up. It's only one color grade apart. And again, same example as before, when we compare D versus F, there's not gonna be a significant price difference between the two because they look quite similar from the face up view. Now I'm gonna to go to the bottom end of the near colorless spectrum. I'm gonna keep the G color out. I'm going to show you a J color next to it. So now we're going two color grades lower. And you should be able to see a little bit of a difference face up between the two stones. This is the J and this is the G. And now I'm just going to tilt them a little bit to the side because when the sparkle is not in the way, you can see more of the body color of the stone and you should be able to see more of a difference. And just so you know, these are 1.7 to 1.8 carat round diamonds that we've been showing you so far. Now choosing between colorless and near colorless really comes down to a matter of preference and also where you would like to focus your budget. So I have an example here. This is one of the stones we we're looking at before. This is a 1.8 carat D color. And now this is a 2.34 carat J color. You can obviously see the size difference and these two diamonds will actually cost you the same amount of money because you're giving up about four, five grades of color to get a larger stone. Now, some people are willing to make that trade off while others prefer the higher quality colorless diamond over here. But you should be able to see a difference in color and you can obviously see the difference in size. Now, if you wanted this same 1.8 carat diamond in this size, you'd have to spend almost $10,000 more. So you have to understand that when trying to understand trade-offs between size and quality. And remember, once your diamond is set into an engagement ring, I'm gonna pull out this one over here. This is an eye color round diamond, 1.8 carat. It does look even whiter or more colorless because you have the platinum or the white gold surrounding it and you don't have it compared to other stones. So this kind of diamond or 1.8 carat eye color round diamond is gonna look very colorless face up when in a ring. So far we've been showing you diamonds face up. Now when diamonds are graded in a laboratory, they are not graded this way because you have so much sparkle and fire and brilliance coming out of the stone that it can be distracting to the eye and it's hard to see the true color of the diamond. So now we flip the stones on their back. This is how they're graded in a laboratory, face down. And you can see here, we're going from colorless, D color, all the way down from F, G, H, and these are two J color stones. So now you can see really the true body color of the stone and you can start to see a little bit more warmth as you move in this direction. And one other thing I wanna point out is that the larger the stone is, the more obvious the color becomes. And it's just a matter of being more apparent, it's larger, it's more obvious. The smaller the stone, it's a little bit easier to hide the color. Lucky for all of us, diamonds are set face up into an engagement ring, meaning the bottom of the stone is covered by prongs and you look at it from the top view and you see the sparkle, the fire, the brilliance, so you're really never going to see this angle. 
so you can get away with a lower collar when needed. So now here's where things get a little bit tricky. When it comes to different diamond shapes or cuts, color can exhibit differently. So here we prepared a few different stones, emerald, cushion, oval, and radiant to kind of drive home the point a little bit further. Now, when it comes to shapes like an emerald cut and our cushion brilliant style diamonds, along with round diamonds as well, which we showed you before, due to this fastening of these stones, it hides color better than other shapes. Now, an emerald cut has step cut fastening, clear lines that go parallel to the stone. And because of that, it's harder to see any concentration of color. This is a 2.4 carat eye color VS2 emerald cut. Next to it, we have a 2.3 J color cushion. And remember, J is the lowest we recommend for most shapes. And because it has a brilliant style fastening, it also hides color very well. And these are very popular options. IJ color for both emerald cushion and round diamonds as we showed you before. Now I'm gonna show you an emerald cut comparison of a eye color versus an E color. And you'll see it's very difficult to see the difference. Even a trained eye when far away and viewed in a ring, it's not something that you can pick up right off the bat. And you have to inspect it closely. So remember, this is eye color and this is E color, and both are around 2.4 to 2.5 carats, GIA certified. And remember, the price difference here is about $7,000. So that's a big, big savings that you can get by going down three to four color grades. And emerald cut is one of the stones that we recommend the most that you can sacrifice on color. And just to show you here, we have this beautiful two carat emerald cut diamond ring. And this is an eye color center stone. Look very white, very colorless face up. On the other hand, there's certain shapes that you have to be more wary of color, such as ovals, radiant, pear shape, which is not pictured here, and a few other of the fancy shaped diamonds. Now for these kind of diamonds, we usually recommend I or better, but in some cases we can go down to J for a radiant cut. Now here we have a colorless E color oval over here, and we have a near colorless I color over here, both weigh two and a half carats. Here you should more readily be able to see the color difference than in the previous example with the emerald cuts. This is the reason why a lot of our clients for oval diamonds and other similar shapes prefer colorless because they can see more of a difference with the naked eye. Next, we're gonna show you radiant cuts. You can be a little bit more forgiving when it comes to radiant versus oval. Again, we have a colorless stone on, the, on this side, which is an F color. And here we have actually J color. So we went down even one grade lower. And J color for radiant is actually something that we do recommend. You can see a little bit of warmth of the stone, but it is sometimes hidden when in the setting. Uh, and obviously it's not gonna be compared side by side like we have here. But these are both beautifully cut stones. All the diamonds that we're showing you are beautifully cut, which is something we won't sacrifice on. Now, just to drive home the point further and tell you how different cuts show color differently, here we have two eye color diamonds, believe it or not. Both weigh two and a half carats, and this is the emerald cut we showed you before and the oval cut that we also previously showed you. And you can see very clearly here that the emerald cut looks much more colorless face up, while the oval does have a little bit of a tint to it compared side by side. And just as we stated before, different cuts, due to their facets, will exhibit color differently. And here is a prime example of two stones that both weigh the same, have the same color, but appear different face up. So that about wraps up our Diamonds 101 segment on color. And remember, just to recap, for diamonds, we recommend D to J color, GIA certified, and it can vary by shape. So you kind of have to have a better feel for which stone you want. And then you can start to make decisions about where you want to fall within this range. And you can always go on our website here and we have a beautiful diamond inventory that everyone can look at and you can sort by color, shape, clarity, size. So let's say you want to look at some radiant cuts and you want to get up into the just slide this over over two carats and you can start to see some videos of different options that we have and you can see here that we do present all color options that are we find acceptable for our clients i color h d g j so we go down the whole spectrum and then we leave it up to our clients and we try to guide them through the process and here's just one example and this is true to life. This is a J color radiant three carats. And you can see it has a little bit of a warmth to it, but some people are perfectly fine with that because they're gonna get a very large stone at a very good price. Now for someone who's a little bit more color conscious, maybe they're gonna go down in size and look for something around here. Look at this stone, D color. 
PS 2.5 carat. Zoom it in, you can see very colorless, almost blends into the background. So we have the full spectrum for you. It's a matter of preference. We're here to guide you every step of the way. Please check out our website and keep following us on YouTube and Instagram for more educational videos.